Okay, now you may ask me about the qualifications you need in order to become a professional coach. The first thing you need is a coaching license. Panda UEFA realized the quality of its coaches doesn't correspond to desired standards. As such, UEFA organized its own educational coaching courses. Successful completion of these coaching courses is now rewarded with the UEFA license. Let's now take a closer look at the UEFA license's pyramid. At the very bottom, there is a so-called coaching basics course, which is a very short introductory course consisting of just over a couple of lectures, but is still mandatory to complete. And then you proceed directly to your first coaching license, the UEFA C license, which corresponds to the second level of the pyramid. So what teams can you coach with this license? With the UEFA C license, you can coach the lowest tier amateur teams, usually teams from tier 6 and below. At level 3, there is the UEFA B license. This license gives you the opportunity to be the head coach of all teams up to tier 4, or to be an assistant coach at tier 2 and below. The next step is the UEFA Youth Award license. In order to apply for this license, you already need to be the holder of the UEFA B license. Please note that this license still corresponds to level 3, so when you see in a job description the requirement of minimum level 3 coaching license, this will mean that you need to be the holder of either UEFA Youth Award license or UEFA B license. UEFA Youth Award license gives you the opportunity to manage youth teams at professional football clubs and national teams. At level 4 there is the UEFA A license, which lets you manage all professional teams in a given association. And at the top of the pyramid you will find the UEFA Pro license, which is widely accepted and lets you manage any team in any association. So what exactly will you study during your license course? At level 1 you will be presented with some basic football knowledge, which is probably already known to you. But as I said it's necessary to attend to this short induction course. During the UEFA C license you will dive into the details and differences of coaching senior, youth and children football teams. The UEFA B license is all about teaching football specific techniques, such as passing, shooting or first touch. It's also the first course where you get into football tactics, namely individual, group and team tactics. Here you will get to know how to coach tactical aspects during 6 and 8 side game sessions. Youth Award license covers physical, social and psychological aspects of youth coaching. The UEFA A license is all about tactics. Here you will study defensive, offensive and transitional game phases. You will also get to know how to design 9 and 11 side practical sessions. The UEFA Pro license will teach you how to become a football manager, a person who controls all performance-related processes and assigns certain roles to team members. So how long will it take you to get each of these licenses? Coaching basics course lasts only a few days, whereas the duration of C license is usually 3 months. In order to get the UEFA A or B licenses, you will usually need from 6 to 18 months depending on the association just a month for advanced use award license and 18 months for the UEFA Pro license. Please note that you have to update your highest level license every 3 years. Fortunately, the updating procedure doesn't require a lot of effort and is quite easy. Introducing UEFA coaching licenses was a very good decision. The quality of European coaches improved and now all the confederations accept UEFA licenses. Some confederations even launched their own coaching courses. But still, the quality of the UEFA license is considered to be higher in comparison to the license of another confederation. Ok, and now the very important question comes up. And that is, is the UEFA license enough to become a professional coach? Well, it depends. The license should be enough if you are an ex-professional player. Because for professional players it's easier to land a job as a coach. The license can also be enough if you get a helping hand from another coach, which will boost your coaching career. Here you see how Sir Bobby Robson is helping very young Andre Village Bosch. And the license is definitely enough if you consider coaching outside Europe, because other confederations value the UEFA licenses even more than UEFA itself. If it's not your case, then the license alone will not be enough. In this case, you will need additional qualifications we are going to talk about in the next videos. Catch you later and thanks for watching.